Hello, this is Miss Jones, and I'm going to be discussing the steps of long division with you today. So, you're going to need this paper here with the dragon and knight to get started. And I want to talk to you about what the words are that we use for long division. To read this problem, I would say 43 divided by 5. 43 would be my dividend, and 5 would be my divisor. When I solve the problem, my answer that's highlighted in pink is called my quotient. The quotient is the answer to the division problem. All right, let's get started. On our first problem, we have 83 divided by 4. Okay, I'm going to change colors of my pen here so you'll see exactly where I, what I'm writing. First you have to ask the question, how many times will my divisor, which is 4, go into my dividend? So how many times will 4 go into 8? 4, 8. Two times. So now you're going to multiply this. 2 times 4 is 8. And you subtract. 8 minus 8 is 0. Then you're going to bring down your 3. Now you must ask how, oops, how many times will your divisor go into 3? Or how many times will 4 go into 3? It will not go in at all, so you'll t put 0. 0 times 4 is 0. Subtract this, and you get the answer of 3. <coughs> Now, with this number here, this is what is left over. If this number is smaller than your divisor, then this number becomes your remainder. So, my answer is 20 remainder 3. This is my quotient. Now, if you want to check your quotient to make sure that it is solved correctly. You're going to take the quotient, which is 20, and you're going to multiply it <coughs> by your divisor. So I'll take 4 times 0, which is 0, 4 times 2, which is 8, then you want to add in your remainder. My remainder was 3, so 80 plus 3 is 83. And these two numbers here these two numbers here, if they match then you have solved your problem correctly. Okay, our next problem is 91 divided by 7. Okay, I'm going to change the color of my pen again so that you can see the work that I do. First, you must decide what, how many times will 7, which is my divisor, go into my dividend? So how many times will 7 go into 9? 7 will go into 9 one time. So you're going to multiply this. 1 times 7 is 7. And you're going to subtract. 9 minus 7 is 2. Bring down your 1. Now, how many times will 7 
go into 21. Let's count by sevens. 7, 14, 21. So it will go in there three times. 3 times 7 is 21. And you're going to subtract. And the answer is 0. So for this problem, there is no remainder. <coughs> Now, to go and check this problem, you want to take your answer, which is the quotient. So you want to take the quotient of 13 and multiply it by your divisor, which is 7. 7 times 3 is 21. Here are your 2. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 2 more is 91. And again, <clears throat> if these two numbers match, we have solved the problem correctly. Okay, for our next problem, it is our dividend is 89, and our divisor is 5. So you could also read this problem as 89 divided by 5. Again, I'm going to change my marker so you can see the work that I do. First question that you want to ask is how many times will 5 go into 8? It will go into 8 one time. So we're going to multiply this. 1 times 5 is 5. And you're going to subtract 8 minus 5 is 3. Then you bring down your 9. Now, how many times will your divisor, which is 5, go into 39? Well, one way to do this is to count by 5's. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So that goes in 7 times, 7 times 5 is 35. I'm going to subtract this, 9 minus 5 is 4, 3 minus 3 is 0. Now the answer that you have here, if this is smaller than your divisor, then this number will become your remainder. And again, to check your problem, you're going to take your answer, which is your quotient. You're going to take your quotient times your divisor. Five times seven is thirty-five. Put my five in the ones column. Carry my three. Five times one is five, plus three more is eighty-five. Then you want to add your leftovers or your remainder. I'm going to add this. Five plus four is nine. Eight plus zero is eight. And again, if your answers match, then you have solved this problem correctly. Okay, our next problem is fifty five divided by. Two. And again, this number here, the number 55, is the dividend. This number here, 2, is our divisor. So the question you want to ask is how many times will your divisor go into your dividend? Or how many times will 2 go into 5? 2 will go into 5. Let's count. 2, 4, 6. Well, it can't be 6, so let's go 2, 4. 
We'll go in there two times. Two times two is four. And we're going to subtract five minus four is one. Bring down your five. Now, how many times will your divisor, which is two, go into 15? Well, you can count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. So that would be seven times. Seven times two is fourteen. And we're going to subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. <clears throat> now, if this leftover is smaller than your divisor, then you will put this down as your remainder. Again, we're going to go back and double check to make sure that we've solved our problem correctly. So we're going to take our answer here, which is our quotient, 27, and we're going to multiply it by our divisor, which is 2. 2 times 7 is 14. Carry your 1. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 54. Then we want to add in the remainder, which is 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 plus 0 is 5. And again, if these two numbers match, then you have solved your problem correctly. Okay, our next problem is... 14, oops, 14 divided by 3. Okay, the first question that you want to ask is how many times will 3 go into 1? Well, 3 cannot go into 1, so we're going to put a 0 here. So how many times will 3 go into 14. Well, we can count by threes. 3, 6, 9, 12, so we're going to put a 4 here. We're going to multiply this. 4 times 3 is 12. And then we're going to subtract. 4 minus 2 is 2, 1 minus 1 is 0. Now, if this leftover number is smaller than your divisor, then this will be your remainder. So our answer, or our quotient, is 4 remainder 2. <clears throat> now, to check this problem, we're going to take our quotient, which is 4, and multiply it by our divisor, which is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. And we're going to add in our remainder, which is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. 1 plus 0 is 1. <coughs> numbers match, then you have solved your problems correctly. Okay, our last problem is <clears throat> 95 divided by 4. Okay, the first question that you want to ask is how many times will 4 go into 9? We'll go in there 2 times. 2 times 4 is 8. 
practice.